In this video, we're going to talk about the magnetic levitation train. We'll be talking about how it works, the environmental and social impacts. Hope you enjoy! The first developed maglev train was invented by Eric Laithwaite, a British electrical engineer. The concept of magnetic levitation trains, short for maglev, is based on the idea of electromagnetic fields, which are defined as a field of force that consists of both electric and magnetic components, resulting from the motion of an electric charge and containing a definite amount of electromagnetic energy, and the law of magnetic poles, which is defined as opposite charges attract and same charges repel. There are two types of maglev trains, electromagnetic suspension and electrodynamic suspension. For electrodynamic suspension, it uses the concepts of Lenz's law and superconducting electromagnets. Lenz's law states that when a current is induced in a coil by a changing magnetic field, the electric current is in such a direction that its own magnetic field opposes the change that produced it. Superconductive magnets use electromagnets as superconductors to generate a magnetic field for the train to float upon. Superconducting electromagnets induce currents in coils beneath the maglev train. By Lenz's law, these currents set up magnetic fields opposing the downward motion of the train, thus lifting it above the rails. Now we're going to focus on the electromagnetic suspension maglev, which is the first one we mentioned. Maglev, derived from magnetic levitation, is a transfer method that uses magnetic levitation to move vehicles without making contact with the ground, which means zero friction with the tracks. The forward motion of the train is, is a result of the tracks attraction between opposite poles and repulsion between the same poles. The magnets on the train don't change poles, but the magnets on the track are constantly switching the charge of their poles. When a train needs to slow down, there's a reverse of the current which makes the magnetic attraction and repulsion opposite to the direction of the motion. Magnetic levitation trains can reach the spectacular top speed of 603 km per hour, compared to regular trains that only go 145 km per hour. These vehicles are lighter, and because there's no mechanical friction with the track, consumption of energy is reduced. Maglev trains also require less maintenance, just reducing the amount of resources used. Air pollution is also affected as less carbon dioxide emissions are released in regular trains. A potential negative environmental impact can be public health, as some nearby residents to the new train have hypothesized that the electromagnetic radiation could harm them. There's been no scientific proof of this. On average, Mavlook trains only produce 60 decibels of noise compared to subways that produce 80 decibels of noise. This reduces noise pollution and affects residents of nearby trains less because they won't be able to hear uh, the presence of the train as much. Although some residents have expressed a concern about a safety hazard that this could create. Because there's less noise, uh, because of the train produces less noise, it would be harder to hear it approach and it could potentially increase the number of accidents that happen. Hey, it's Claire, and I'm going to talk about the social impacts of the magnetic levitation or maglev train. Firstly, the absence of wheel-on-rail friction allows for less wear and tear on the parts, which means that they're easier and less expensive to maintain. Secondly, the absence of wheel-on-rail friction allows for a smoother and more quiet ride for passengers. Secondly, the design of the train makes the possibility of derailment very unlikely. This means a safer ride for passengers. Additionally, the interior of the train can be built very wide, which means a more spacious and comfortable ride for passengers. Lastly, maglev trains move at such high speeds, this allows for a very fast commute. This means that passengers can get where they need to go much faster than other conventional trains. Now for the negative social impacts of the maglev train. The main negative impact is the overwhelmingly expensive cost to produce and build a maglev train. Maglev trains can take up to billions of dollars to build and produce. One source of the very expensive nature of maglev trains is the rare earth metals that need to be refined and extracted.